Hello and welcome to May 12, 2021. Alpha's T at 56%. It's a big drop from 70 yesterday, but we are beating the market. Okay, so let's go ahead with our T is 56%. We are still at this last bar at the uh, dipper low here. And we are looking for a up on the right side. And if we get stopped out, okay, like I said, we'll just accept it. It's a $255 at that close there at the bottom of that candle. And 255, uh, we might make a haircut of 175. Depends upon the market makers and what they want to pay me back. But money in my pocket, not theirs. So let's call it an even 160, really low. That'll take this down to 3600, uh, slightly lower than 3600. So that would be the anticipation. No, it would be less than that. It would be, yeah, 3600. I got it right. Got it right. Okay, remember that we are in rule number six. Not yet. May 18th. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, end of close. This will go to last bar low if we are still alive in this trade. The indicators are showing that we are not. We look like we are going to get stopped out tomorrow. We could get stopped out tomorrow. The stochastics uh, the is rolling over. Uh, RSI is edging down. The MACD is downtrending. So that is a good indication that we are going to get stopped out tomorrow and pick up another win. And it'll be a profit win. There'll be 25 wins year to date for the alphas and stochastic strategies. In addition, that we are still beating the market, as you saw from the opening title. We are at 23.5, and the SPY is 11.1. .1. We are two times, we are 2x the SPY. That is pretty cool. Okay, so that takes us now to. IAU, IAU, right here, IAU, and oopsie, trying to do a little trick here with the uh, magnifier. There we go. There we go. Okay. So uh, we have now here at AAU, AAU, the 60 days will start on the 16th, which is to be on Sunday. So end of day Friday which is only two more days, we are going to go to Dipper Low, which will take us right here, providing that we don't get into a lower territory here on the right side tomorrow. Again, indicators are showing not. The market will still be in some kind of a sell-off tomorrow. So uh, we'll be looking at that possibility. And again, it will be another, it, will be, it might be, nah, this one might, this is pretty, this is, uh, well, no. We don't have a dipper low yet. We're, our, our stop is still way down here. Yeah, we're still down in the low zone. If we have not crossed our third ratio, we do not have ROI 100. And we do not have less than 60 days. So this is still going to stay here. And then, then after Friday, we'll be looking at moving the stop into this zone here. All right. Uh, that concludes that. Uh, if this continues into a downtrend, the dipper low will be here. Be the last dipper low right there. Last dipper low is right here. And then we will be putting the stop right here if this continues into a downtrend, which means therefore we have a we have a possibility we might get stopped out with a loss. Oh I hate losing money. But it's not gonna be a lot. It's not gonna be a lot. So if, if it is, it is. And remember, just didn't owe us any money to begin with. So then it'll go to the loss leaders with an ode, and the ode will be very small that we can work on and overcome. That's the important part about risk management. Keeping your losses low. And a lot of people say, well, I want to give it running room. Give it running room, and it's going to run you into the end zone on the other opposite side team, and you're going to lose. So watch your, keep your, keep your, Keep your uh, stops within relativity. My stop is usually based on the dipper low. So if I was to enter this trade right here, the dipper low would have been my first would be my first stop right there. And if I was doing a hipper dog, remember we had the hipper the, the, the dipper low is a trading strategy. It drops here, and as soon as it crosses the high of this candle, you're in, which means you would have been here. You get another dipper low, you go here. Then it runs up here, and now you have a, maybe a dipper low here. Let me see. The low is 17.32, 17. So this is a flat bottom. So you would have to wait for the right side, and then you come here, and you're winning. 
So dipper low strategy works. What's this ROI? I don't know. I have not tested it. There are no books on ROI, strategies ROI. All I can tell you is that the stochastics theory that I'm running currently is running 23.5% year to date. So that is all I can tell you about stochastics. Uh, there is another RSI2, which is running in my private reserve, and they're running approximately 12% year to date at this time. So they're almost break even with the S&PY. Okay, so uh, let's focus here on alpha statistics, and we now go on to T minus. And uh, recall that T minus is the thorn in my side because the reason is we got such a bad fill. And because of that bad fill, uh, we have, we are, we're paying the price. It, it, it happens. But the bottom line is that T minus is at least in somewhat private, a, a positive territory. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Remember, now, T minus is, it did clear its third ratio. So it is in dipper low. And guess what we got here, guys? We have a dipper low. So today's lesson is adjusting the order ticket. Extremely important. So the low is 134.67. Let's bring the dialog box up into this playing field. So right there is the low. Here is the low. 134.67. I'm going to go to 134.60. So now I come to my notes and I open up my trade trade notes. This is my trading journal on on screen trading journal. May 12th, third ratio dipper low, and it's now 134.60. And we're going to confirm that one more time. Well, we have with the with the, to okay here. And oh, I lost the dialog box, so I didn't pin it. Let me go back and do that. Also here in Thinkorswim, you can pin some of your panels. So it doesn't disappear. So look, click, 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 it doesn't disappear. But if I take the pin off and I go click, it disappears. So I come back here, find it again, pin it, and now it stays on screen. And uh, move it out of the way. And now I'm going to go back to uh, zooming in again. And we'll try this one. And we'll do it that way. That's a little bit of a long way, but it works. It works. So let's get to work. So we concluded. We concluded that the low here is going to be 134.60. I write down to the zeros or the nickels. So I give it just a tiny little working room at, uh, well, we are in the minus 165 actually is not bad. Yeah, go ahead and make that 165. So remember, the tighter to stop, the more money gets back in your pocket if it goes against you. Okay, so uh, 134.65 is going to be the stop. Now we'll come to our marker and edit properties to out alpha account, stochastic strategies, call, exit, and we're making it 134.65. Okay. I also grabbed the title, but I like to keep notes. Copy. Send down. Now, we're still not out of the woods, people. Please, please remember. Just because you mark your charts here and update your trade journal, it does not take care of the order ticket. Here takes care of the order ticket. Right there. There's your order ticket. Now we'll go here and right click, come down to cancel order, come to the gear on the far right, come here to the entry point, 134.65. I don't know why thinkorswim thinks that they have to highlight this and put the plus minus battles in it and then widen this. It's like, you know what, guys? Techie, stop playing with stuff. If it works, leave it alone. Okay, so I rant on radio a little bit. I used to be a techie, so I'm guilty too. All right, going now to the actual order ticket. This is your actual order execution. This is your execution. Order conforming dialog, T minus, at or below 134.65. And we're looking at, there's, there's our notes. And send and now you have it right there and now we come back up because i don't like the bubbles on the screen because it takes up too much real estate and done and that is the conclusion okay well we're almost out of time here uh and that was t minus that is the conclusion so thank you very much for stopping by we are 25 uh we are 25.5 and thank you very much for stopping by and checking it out bye bye